Hi students, welcome to Vichkem YouTube channel. So for registration, successful candidates for the JE mains, the congratulations from the Vichkem YouTube channel. Now onwards, we will be getting every guidance for the JE advance. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and join the telegram group. I will be giving you in the description box and I will be guiding you for the JE advance also in the recent uh, in the few days we are having for the advanced examination. So there are two types of procedures for the advanced registration that is given here. It is the information brochure. I am not taking some unauthorized. It is information brochure only it is having. So there are procedure A and procedure B. So the procedure candidates who are qualified through the JE mains 2021. So there is another procedure called as a one time measure. So those who applied for the 2020 advance but could not appear uh, they are called as a procedure b and those who are just now immediate uh, 2021 mains qualified students have to follow the procedure a okay so procedure a is for you so what are the three steps it is simply done in the three steps okay first of all after uh, you have to log in okay the basic data uh, after login you have to candidate will first log in with the je mains credential and the following three steps okay first after you log in you will give you the basic details in the first login okay so and most of the see clearly it is given the after login provide the basic data the choice of the cities for the examination okay cities and towns where the advanced will be held that list is given already in the information brochure you can also refer okay Candidates will have to the option of adding additional mobile number, additional email ID, additional numbers already provided JE mains. Please note that correspondence regarding JE mains will be sent to the registered mobile number by SMS. Okay. Candidates therefore advise to ensure that the correct mobile number is to be given. Okay. Next upload the scan, scanned copies of all requested documents. Whatever the documents I am going to say you, those documents you have to furnish and scan them. Okay. Next pay registration fees. Okay. So registration fees that amount also mentioned here. So this procedure B is for the those students who those who qualified. So those who applied for the 2020 but due to Corona they could not attend for them. Okay. Now let us see about the documents required. Okay, so everything is in the official documents only. So here, these documents required for the registration. Okay, so these these are the simple one class ten certificate for the if the date of birth is mentioned, or date of birth certificate. The basic purpose of the class ten certificate is to show your date of birth. Okay, next class twelve certificate or equivalent certificate for those who applied for the. 2020 and though this uh, class 12th complete certificate is for those who passed out in the 2020 okay so if mark sheet of the certificate for the 20 is available then you can also upload okay so in some states they might have issued so for them they can upload the class 12 document also okay if your name is not same in the class 10th then gazette notification showing the change of name okay then next for ews this is a very very important every time i repeat the ews certificate okay ews certificate must be after issued after the april 1st 2021 okay and with the latest guidelines what is the guidelines what is the performer that is already there in our uh, telegram group or it is already there in our blog spot you can also get it Another important thing is OBC NCL also must be issued as per the latest rule of April 1st, 2021. Okay. Next uh, for seeking SC and ST, if you are a CST candidate, you have to provide the CAS certificate. If you are a PWD candidate, you have to provide the PWD certificate. Okay. So compensatory time for those who are uh, PWD students. Okay and the services of scribe okay uh, seeking permission of the ds these are all the pre, uh, mainly for the pwd students okay so for the candidates whose class 12th board is outside india not listed in 
then they have to provide their outside certificate okay i think all the best and all the certificates keep ready and register if you got any type of problem you can ask me in the comment section or join telegram group thank you bye bye see you